Hi everyone! Welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author and welcome to my quilting room. So today is going to be a little bit different. There's not going to be any tutorials so if you were hoping for that I do apologize in advance. Um, I am going to be sharing with you some life updates and what has been going on and where I have been and why <laughs> I have been absent for so long. So the first thing I think I'm going to start with is, as many of you know, um, I got really very sick way before Christmas. So like the first week of December, I got really sick. Um, I tested negative for all of the usual viruses that are going around. Um, but I still remained really ill. I had a really bad cough, my chest hurt, runny nose, you know, the whole gamut. So anyway, um, I suffered through that for a really long time. And unfortunately, I am still sick with that. So yesterday, I had to go back um, to the doctor again. And... Um, they had to increase the amount of antibiotics that I'm on because for whatever reason, I'm not getting better and this stuff is not kicking out of my system. So I have a really, really terrible, really terrible sinus infection going on and it just will not, will not go away with what they've treated it with before. So now I'm on a regimen that is much longer and we're hoping that that will um, kick it out. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to go in through for some more testing um, to find out what's going on and why it won't go away. So um, I feel better. I'm still very, very tired. Um, I think that's probably the worst part is that I'm just, I'm so tired and I go to do things. I have like every intention of doing something and <laughs> then when I start thinking about it or even when I come down here, I'm just... I don't have the energy or the, um, I don't know. I just don't have the, the creative <laughs> element going on. And I think it's just because I haven't felt good for such a long time that it's just kind of just takes everything out of me. So I have spent a lot of time resting. I have watched a lot of Netflix. I have binge watched so many shows. <laughs> it's not even funny. Um, I did finish Cobra Kai. I did really enjoy that. Um, I watched a show called You. That was insane. Um, if you don't like foul language and you don't like murder mysteries, it's probably not the show for you, but I like suspense stuff and um, I really did enjoy that show. It was really kind of a crazy mind twist. So I, I did like that. Um, I have, I have just watched a lot of stuff I have binge watched and honestly, it's felt kind of good to just do that, to just kind of relax and just not really worry about a whole lot. So, um, I will tell you what I was able to get done. I, um, was able to get my grandson's, um, rag quilt done with the monster trucks. I got that done just in time for his birthday. I actually finished that on Thursday, no, Friday, Friday evening. Um, I had started that rag quilt before Christmas. It was supposed to be a Christmas gift and he didn't end up getting it until, <laughs> until his birthday. So <clears throat> Saturday was his birthday party and that's where he got that. Um, which brings me to my next thing. You're never going to believe this. You see that? I broke my hand. <laughs> um, so his birthday party was on Saturday and I was going to give my daughter's dog. She has a Labradoodle. She has three dogs, actually. She has a pit bull lab mix, a labradoodle, and a brand new puppy, which is a golden doodle. Um, anyway, I was going to give the labradoodle a treat and he got 
underneath my feet and just I just got tangled up in him and I fell. I fell down in front of everybody at the birthday party. Uh, so it was a little bit humiliating, um, but I fell down and I smacked my knee pretty good, broke my hand, and um, yeah. <laughs> so things are going really crazy for me this year so far. Um, better days are ahead. I just, I know they are. Um, so what I did was I broke the little bone that's right in here, right in between my finger and my thumb. And so on Thursday, I have to go and see a hand specialist. Um, I, I saw a surgeon yesterday and they referred me out to a hand specialist. So I'm not really sure what that means. Um, when I was young, when I was a little girl, I actually broke, I actually broke the bone in between here, right where I broke this time. Um, same hand. Um, I was riding my bicycle and I went over a speed bump and I broke my hand, I broke my thumb and I was in a cast up to here. So, yeah, I don't know. Say some prayers that it's not a bad thing. Just all I can tell you is it hurts like the dickens. So, um, so there's that. So I haven't been able to use my hand. I'm trying to figure out how it is that I am going to sew and do projects. And um, I'm not really sure how that's going to work out for me. But where there is a will, there is a way. And I'm telling you right now, we're going to do projects, even with this. So, um, I may have to do some embroidery projects um, and things like that. So, just hang with me. We're going to do stuff. Um, I had intended to do a scrap quilt along for this year. I had been asked about it by several people unfortunately I'm not going to be able to commit to that at this point in time okay so I do apologize but you know I think the universe is trying to tell me hey lady just slow it down <laughs> just, I just don't even know <clears throat> um my father-in-law is still with us I told you that they put him on hospice um he is still with us as of today however it is not looking good. He is starting to, well, he has been deteriorating rather quickly. So his days here are going to be very numbered and um, he will be going home soon to heaven. Um, so that's, that's a hard thing that we're all, we're all kind of going through as well. Um, this year, the, the end of last year and the beginning of this year has just been a real challenge for our family. But, you know, I'm always positive and I, I just know that better days are ahead. And, you know, we go through all of these seasons for a reason. And um, nobody is exempt from it. You know, unfortunately, we all get our turn at this. So, um, it has just been challenging. And I think another part of the reason why I've been so ill, too, is probably from stress. So I'm kind of just taking it easy and, and I'm going to just take it easy and kind of go at, I think a little slower pace and I'm not going to push as hard. I, I'm going to do things that I'm, that I'm able to do. Um, and so I hope you enjoy them with me. I think sometimes it's good to take a step back. I think it's good sometimes to simplify and just do things that we enjoy doing instead of getting, because it's so easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of things and in projects and things like, I have to do this. I have to get this done. Y you know, it's just, sometimes it gets very overwhelming and it's no different for me. So, um, so we're going to take a step back and we're going to do some different things here and, more and I'm going to enjoy it. I really, really am. I'm going to tell you now, I am so looking forward to um, playing with the embroidery side of things more so. Um, I have a new hooping station that I'm excited to show you guys um, to make it easier to hoop items. 
Um, and I'm, I'm super excited to do it. I'm going to be embroidering a sweatshirt. I'm going to put my logo on it. I can't wait to show you how to do that. Um, I am going to be doing a review of my Rakoma machine, my four month, um, cause I've had it for four months. I want to do a four month review and let you know, um, what I love about it and what I don't love about it, because I know that I've gotten a lot of questions about, about the 10 needle machine that I'm using. Um, so I will be putting that video up too. Um, I'm hoping to get that up tomorrow. Again, like I said, things move very slowly for me right now because of, you know, just things that are going on in my life. It's hard for me to commit and say that at this, you know, this is going to happen at this time. So normally you can count on that, but just where I'm at today, I just can't make promises. So, but I promise I will get it up. I just can't say this date, this time, you know, but I am shooting for tomorrow. Yay. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I've done in here. Honestly, I really haven't. I haven't done a whole lot. Um, I did pick up some towels at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll show those to you. These towels I picked up, these were 70% off. Um, normally $20. And so I thought, well, I really can't get past that. You know, they're kind of like that mustard yellow. But I have some really beautiful fabrics in here that I can put on here to jazz up these little towels. The other thing that I really want to do, honestly, is I'm I'm really itching to buy some Tula Pink fabric, the new line. But now with my hand being messed up, I'm not really sure because I had plans for the Curiouser and Curiouser collection. And uh, I haven't been able to even cut into that and use it. So... That is one of the projects that I am hoping to get done this year. So we may just have to back some things up for a little bit and then pick up in the middle. I just, I mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's, it's all we can do, right? Um, so other than that, that is what I have been up to. Oh, I want to show you this. So I made this little guy just for fun. I did this before I messed up my hand. Um, I just needed a project to do, and actually I had hoped to show you guys how to make one of these, but now I, I really can't because I can't turn anything, but, um, I made this little whale pin cushion and he is so stinking cute. I put this on my Instagram, so it was in the Instagram and also on my Facebook, um, page and group when I made this, but you can see I did this, this is a little belly. He's got eyes and a smiley face. Um, this is the cutest little pin cushion. And it's the perfect project actually for scrap. If you have scrap fabric just laying around, it doesn't take very much. Um, this is a pattern from Rick Rack Sews. And she is over at Etsy. It's the same designer who designed all these little elephants that I've made. Like that one there. Um, she has the cutest patterns, I do have to say. She's an amazing pattern designer, and they're easy to follow along with. So if you're interested in making that, I'll link down below to her shop. Um, it's adorable, and it's fun to make. It's just something fun to just do if you're just looking for, you know, something to, to do just to something for yourself. Yeah, it's something for yourself. So it's really cute, and... Um, all right, so I am going to uh, stop rambling now, and I am going to get this video uploaded so that you guys know what's going on. Anyway, if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So if you're looking to follow me, you can find me there at The Crafty Author. And um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that little bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video. Keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.